Hello everyone, we are back out from our hike, and this is also new. Okay, well at least there's some good things about this that I don't believe, I checked, there was no new map data. And it's going the correct direction in this parking lot for, I'm pretty sure, the first time ever. So I, I, I have a theory about the map data, it's got the map data of the previous version, and it takes until the next version before they actually utilize it, even though you see some, or like, fully utilize it. So like this is this is correct now and it even even went in the correct place so they definitely made some changes regarding the map data so much so oh yeah i forgot i uh i uh pressed it twice but i have it i haven't been able to do it once this right here is really 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 steep in it Hey, it did that well. Hey, the first time it's ever been able to do that. Like, literally the first time it's ever done that because the map data is correct now. That's awesome. We'll see if there's any other little things like that going on. So every time now we're gonna see about enabling that out of the parking lot. So, but again, I'm not gonna probably make too many videos. I'm still, I just, um, I guess I didn't say that in the last video. I, um spent thanksgiving insulating my attic um a long story involved in that if you're interested in seeing a video of that process uh, i can put this edit together a little short video of what i did kind of um all that type of stuff um if you guys are interested it's, it's not going to be anything fancy and i have to press the accelerator to get it to go uh, all i did was tap it it seems like the car is being extra conservative I, that's, I'm feeling that pretty strongly with this version after the last in, uh, last little hiccup I had on the previous video. It seems extra conservative. Let's go ahead and up that speed here. This, this version is going to have a lot of cool things to uh, look out for. Um, or, sorry, when I said version, this route has a lot of cool things to look out for. We'll see if anything changes. I'm looking for a few spots to be improved, and I'll point those out when, when we get to them. Okay, first spot right here is, is, is it going to break it all for these blinking yellows? And it is breaking some, and made it through. So we have an ambulance coming by, let's see what it does for that. It still doesn't recognize the lights on the screen. I feel like it should do that. I don't know, maybe, I mean, well, yeah, I guess what you're supposed to do in some, some states is you're supposed to move over as far as possible and slow down. In some places, require you to stop. I think in Europe, that's the case. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think if you're on the opposite side of the road, you have to stop. And I know some, I've, I've been places here that people have done that. I don't think we legally have to do that unless they're coming behind you. You have to get out of the way. But... I, I, on the opposite side of the road, I don't think it matters. Here is one spot I want to see improved. Okay, it's, I call that a slight improvement. And um, a little bit hesitant, but the reason I call it a slight improvement is because while it did jam on the brake for that car, it immediately started proceeding again. It wasn't like, it didn't like just pause there and stay there. And that that's what got really annoying really quick before, is that it would just stay there instead of like committing again. And, and like, it, all I have to do is commit slowly like it did, and then gain confidence and then commit faster, which unfortunately in this case, it's it stayed slow. But still, I think better than it would have done in the past version. See how it does slow down for this car here. And it's gonna speed back up. Okay, it's too slow to speed back up. It should be speeding back up like well already. That's that's too slow reaction time there. Coming up here is the next spot we need to look out for. It needs to get in this turn lane right here. That's what I was going to say is improved at this version, is the windshield wiper. I'll talk about that here in a sec. And... 
press the accelerator because it's uh, not in the correct lane and there were cars coming. Um, okay. The windshield wipers, it should, if it's going to go, it needs to commit. Okay. I had to give it a slight tap on the accelerator, but otherwise I, th I kind of like that behavior better. They have definitely, 100% certain, they have changed unprotected left behavior. It's, it's hard for me to explain how it seems, seems more, like, cautious, but then when it commits, it finally, it actually commits, versus, like, flaking out or something. And now, what happened in the last video is that it's... Uh, I forced it to commit and it didn't want to commit so that's something I'm definitely going to look out for is I do that quite often like right here I would probably have forced it to go for this yellow light but because it knew it was going to be red before it could get through the intersection decided not, not to go but the windshield wipers so actually I can go here, but I'm gonna let the car wait. Oh, and now this car is going to. Okay, so I can actually go. So I'm gonna tap it once and tell it to go. And because it knew the car behind me was approaching me, it accelerated a little bit harder. I like that type of behavior. But yeah, the windshield wipers. Um, I was gonna say, it, it definitely has improved. This type of weather right here was like really uh, overcast and cloudy. Even though it's, it's not raining at all, there's not a drop of rain coming down right now. Um, but as you saw earlier, the windshield wiper did wipe, but the previous version would just wipe all the time for no reason. So it's slightly improved, at least. It's not it's not fixed how it was, but it's definitely better so far. Uh, the windshield wiper is coming on with a dry windshield drives me nuts because it's just destroying my windshield wipers. That was a good smooth compound maneuver. I like that. That seemed improved over the previous version, though not better than versions before that. The last version kind of downgraded it a little bit. Okay, and so we're gonna come in here. Park right here. And we'll see you on the way back out. And we're back, everyone. Let's see how it does going out of here. Let's see, the thing to remember about version 12 is while it potentially will be very impressive, it's still not going to do parking lots. Almost certainly. It can do curb to curb really well. But perhaps, you know... Maybe it's going to be relatively quick to get parking lots done once uh, it can do everything else. It seems like they have reverted slightly on the super long hard stops. That seems like stops have improved in this version. They're, they're much less, let's stop freaking forever uh, and then go. Oh, it's not going to turn right here. It's not set to turn. Well, that's frustrating. We might have to disengage because of that. Okay. Yeah. So, we're not going to count that as a disengagement. It's just because I didn't realize Nav was in the middle of the road versus, uh, versus on Main Street. So uh, these cones add interesting. I, I, I actually like the fact that it did that. It g went further away from the curb. I think with Cybertruck, they're going to have a hard time not running over curbs with that thing. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's going to be a challenging to get it to drive correctly. We'll see. I'm probably not going to have a Cybertruck out until three to five years from now. Maybe the earliest. Time. I want... The $80,000 price is fine as long as I have the tax credit. Uh, for me, I th that's the price I expected that to come out to. However, it's the range. And the, to pay $16,000 for 130 more miles of range, I might consider it if I didn't have to go to a service center to install it or keep it in permanently. It's just, it's 
that doesn't make sense. I, I would like a 400 or 420 mile range. Uh, if I can, uh, just stock and, or, you know, give 400, like still more than 350 mile range, but have faster charging. That's, that's good. And that's good behavior. So clear the guy jaywalked and he shouldn't have, and it didn't just jam on the, well, that was really close to that sign. It didn't just jam on the brake. So that, that's an improvement for sure. But yeah, the Cybertruck, I would want at least 350 miles of range and it to be able to charge at least twice as quick as what it's able to charge right now, which I think might be possible. Because it has the 800 volt tech with 4680s, and I think they're sandbagging it. It can do 136 miles in 15 minutes. I think it's going to be able to do at least 250 miles in 15 minutes. And once it can do that, then I would be okay with less than 400 miles of range. Because it just isn't quick enough to properly tow is the problem. I want to be able to tow, most often it will be three, three hours is be my most common one way distance for towing. Uh, and more likely between four to six on the longer runs. And if I do a really long one, it'll be, you know, 10 to 13 hours or somewhere in that range. But uh, I would tow pretty regularly around town, which obviously won't, the current truck can do just fine. It's towing long distance to a three hour drive. Well, I do have a supercharger on the way. I would rather just make it one shot. It's 120 miles. And I would just rather not have to stop. Let's see if it's going to do this correctly. It's never been able to do this, but with the other map data updates, perhaps it will. Ooh, that's. It's actually doing it. They've definitely done some map updates. Tesla engineers, if you're watching, I appreciate you so much for making this ha finally happen. It's, I've noticed the map, also noticed, it rerouted super quickly. Okay, well, it's, okay, it didn't get in the right lane, but, or correct lane, but um, that's fine. Uh, so I suppose <laughs> it does need to fix that. It needs to know if, okay, I want to go to this parking lot and, and it needs to go there, <laughs> then, then it needs to get able to turn into the parking lot. So it, it does need to improve on that. But however, if navigation, if that's the only thing that's improved, I would be elated. I've been waiting so long for navigation to improve. And it seems like it's faster now. I don't know what's changed, but it seems much faster unless they decide, okay, well, we're just not gonna pull data from your car anymore. I, I don't know, uh, over LTE, maybe that's what they're doing. I'm not sure. Anyways, I think, um, I don't, did I disengage? I don't know anyone, uh, but I thought that was pretty, pretty acceptable drive. Uh, wasn't worse than the previous version. Uh, a couple of small things, you know, as always, I'll put those down in the description of what's improved and not improved. If you have questions for me, put them down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.